Hello everyone, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. How are you doing? How's your Valentine's Day? Uh, what category were you in? Were you team bank alerts and oppressing us on social media? Nice. Or were you team Instagram packages with teddy bears and roses and wine? Or were you team single Pringle and you're just, you know, observing? That's okay too. Anyway, either ways, I hope that you had an amazing day regardless because it was just a day to be honest. So if you're not one of those people, it's okay to be very honest. And uh, I just want to say thank you for joining in the entertainment analysis show called Tea Time, the baddest that you ever see. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown and everything pertaining lifestyle if it's hot then we'll talk about them when i say we i mean if follow us okay and emerald yeah, hi morning. people Hello. how's it going I'm yeah great. what team were you on team pringles single pringles team bank alerts team teddy bears ha i think i was in um team everything oh okay <laughs> that's not bad yeah Tell us more now. You don't want to tell us. That's all I can everything. say. Everything. Yeah, everything. Bank lads, teddy bears. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm, Some oh, people Paul. are the best of all KPK. worlds. KPK. <laughs> yeah. You? I'm saying I want to be left alone. Men are scum. Ah. <laughs> hey. Are you the same man? Like, same men are scum. Or you, you are the scum? Yes, now. Ah, wow. Okay, that was all said to you. No, no, no. I'm just saying that. Okay, that was yeah. the vibe you got. Yeah, that, that's the vibe I gave. You ah. did. Oh, okay. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah. You just take some decisions. Well, I just want to use this platform to say thank you to whoever that sent me a package yesterday. Um, I don't know. He didn't even name. So please reach out to me. That was really sweet. The package was really nice. Really? What was in it? Just a bunch of chocolates, roses, teddy bear, perfumes, hmm. food. A lovely note, a Aww. very lovely note. And that note was made, what made me realize that I, this person knows me a bit person, or just a great stalker. I don't know. Either way, but thank you for that. And everybody else who sent me stuff, that was also nice. I got nice bags. I got, I got a lot of things. It was very nice. sweet, very, very sweet. Yeah. So, um, but either way, if you didn't get anything, it's okay. You don't know, you might get something tomorrow or the day after. The year just started, to be very honest. So, let's not get carried away. You don't need, you don't need, I said COVID-19. You don't need Valentine's Day to feel loved or spread love. So, Anyway, let's start with the conversations of the day. Nigerian singer, songwriter Simi Sola Ogunle Kosoko, alias Simi, has stated that she, she used to be hopeful about Nigeria, but she's not anymore. According to the Duduke Krona, she has developed anxiety from living in Nigeria. She further expressed her normal activities, such as driving and walking on the streets, gives her anxiety. The mother of one added that she always, she's always frightened that a police officer might just walk up to her and harass her without fear of justice. In her words, used to be so hopeful for Nigeria, but now just driving on the street gives me anxiety. Seeing police officers with guns gives me anxiety. Someone suddenly walking up to me gives me anxiety. Hate it here. All right, and that's coming from Simi. What do you think about her saying this? I mean, she has a lot of, it's of like, points. I feel like... It. A lot of people of are. Yeah. Yeah, she does. A lot of people are currently um, in this space now. A lot. Because um, the part where she said that she she feels she feels like she's not safe driving around Lagos and all. Like I've, I'm in that state actually. Yeah. Like I get really scared, mm. especially when it's like getting a little bit dark. Darker, like, yeah. so even 7 p.m. I'm, I'm like rushing. Like yeah, I don't want to be out and all that. So, yeah. And considering all that is happening, it's just too much. And then the stuff that happened. Um, on, on, sat on, on Saturday, Saturday yeah. yeah. It's just too much. So it's enough for one did to you one to Did you see the ladies in the bus that were talking? Mm. And then the police people... I don't know if you've the seen The ladies that. in the bus? Yeah, that they were talking. They're talking about the experience and macaroni yeah, and all police. of that. Oh, okay, okay, and then okay, the okay. police people were in the car. He, I think they didn't realize that there was a police in the car. The oh. police now got them out, dragged them, asking them to apologize, basically harassing them for... Wow. I saw a lot of speech. video, but I didn't see that particular oh, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you after the show. It's oh, like crazy. It's really terrible. So it's, it's okay for one to one to run away from. Mm. from this country because i mean someone like that that has almost everything mm. is scared what about those people that don't even have exactly. anything people exactly. that cannot really do anything at mm. all like it's just it's just it's just sad really sad right i i get i get where she's coming from it's still the state of insecurity in nigeria that we've been talking about now the people that are supposed to be protecting us are the people we're actually running mm. from i think that's really crazy and then you find a lot of people telling you oh i don't want to come home i don't want and you're wondering that was in their mindsets when they were leaving but you're wondering what changed mm. but they got to a place where they saw a working system they got to a place where they saw you know the policemen actually being nice yeah. you know yeah there's 
racism, you can't yeah. take it away. There's there are all of those things there, but does the system work? Yes, it does work. And uh, we don't have any working system. We don't have any, uh, I don't know, it's just really yeah, yeah, crazy. Works, like yeah. nothing really works. It's not even like you can run from the cops, <laughs> even mm. if they're chasing you because the roads are not even good for you to <laughs> run. Do you understand? So you can't even run from them. So you have to choose one. Either I die running from them mm. or I just face those people. Regardless, you're still going mm. to die because yeah. they, they threaten you a lot with that these days. Like, yeah. like they will yeah, say they will to tell you. you. Yeah. Especially, yeah. I just yeah. remember yeah. something that happened happen. recently. You know, I was just having a conversation. And the moment I mentioned that I was pressed, I think that just infuriated them the most. And they were like, hey, press. Yeah, now, now they carry all those things for people. They're yeah, lucky this didn't happen at night before we waste you on top. Say, I talk, say, I am pressed. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? So, it's, 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 it's really very crazy. scary, to be very honest. I have to agree. I think that anxiety is, is um, very unsettling and I think unfortunate as well. Um, I'm, sometimes I don't know if it's better to, ha to, to be in my position or, or where you know what life is like outside mm. or people who don't even know what life yeah. or, um, or any other kind of life is except from this one. I, I, I don't know which one is better, but being here, unfortunately, it's, I will say fortunately and unfortunately, it is our home and we should be able to want to live here. So it's a bit sad when you see uh, someone like Simi, and I like what you said, Emerald, about her even having everything. Exactly. So you realize that it's not even about, we're not just well, talking about like class yeah. now or like um, money or comfort or, or whatever. And you can see how extreme it is that even your comfort and money can't protect you. In Nigeria. But in Nigeria, like that's a bit wild. Usually in most places, money is the cure to the re the, the um, shortcomings of the, of the of the country. Even when yeah. you're, well, yeah, well, well, yeah. Unless you're black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, money, but you know, most the of the time, when you get more comfortable, you're able to get um, get past a lot of other things. So it's a bit unfortunate. But uh, you know, she said what she said. I had a friend that was arguing that she didn't really like that Simi was saying that because it's not very positive and it's not very encouraging. Like that? And really? A friend of mine, and that you know, someone like that with a lot of influence, that he's very he's very patron, um, um, patriotic, and he's worried about this emphasis on like getting out of the country because not everybody will get out of the country. So exactly. I'm like, yeah, I get your point, but I don't think because it's Simi, she doesn't have a right to express herself, her, herself and stuff. So, there is a lot of celebrities out there that would never say this. I would say, let's fight. Those ones that are patriotic should go and follow those, those artists. Then I, I, yeah. I, you know, I was thinking that a lot of people want to say, oh, it's because she's a woman and women are naturally scared and stuff. But I like when LD the Don replied on that, mm. that same tweet saying, now you see the reason why I left. So it's not a gender thing. It's not about because she's a woman, so you, you're scared to be out at night. Even the men are also scared. I think we're even more of a target. Yeah, because I saw a tweet um, from, um, is he a tweet also, a post? I think it's Rick. Uh, Rikasani. Rikasani, the he was, was robbed. robbed. Yeah, but like he said, to be brought men. daylight. So I mean, in the what afternoon. are we talking about here? Yeah, I mean, I think each gender has um, more Their specific fears, kinds yeah. of of you know. I mean, the chances of a man getting raped is a bit like a lot less than, than the woman, woman and, and, yeah. and then you know um the size even profiling women is a lot less let's be yeah. honest than, than, than men so i think we true. have different ills that we're yeah. fighting but you know i think we're all endangered even children and mothers and yeah like to be honest we're all endangered if it's not sad then working it's, on the street it's the see imagine just going out for work your normal working day like what happened on wednesday and then you start hearing sh um, gunshots. gunshots you know and you're running obaling day incidents that alone yeah that is was scary. a bit scary Do you even about just the police now the fact that they don't even address certain issues yeah. now where were the police when that was happening they didn't come out they didn't know, say that, nothing. Maybe that's what we should be understand? doing now let's just say okay guys we're going to protest let's go on twitter we're going to protest go, go protest at Obalende. then they'll come and protect the people who need to be protected let, let's just be, no, be doing that think, or something no, it's because they're on their payrolls you you think they don't have an information something was going to happen there. they never come out you get me they of course the bad guys would tell Moment, they all work hand in hand. I don't know, maybe I'm watching too many movies though, mm -hmm. but I think that's just what it is. But do you country. have anxiety living in Nigeria? You, yes, me mm. personally, I don't know, I don't, know. I don't. Not mm. for me. I'm not an anxious person. I mean, mm. I understand that yeah, I yeah, get there, it, are, but, but not there are me. issues, but I'm not. I don't yeah, worry. I'm I going, oh my God, somebody's coming with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, somebody's oh, coming with yeah, me. Yeah, no, like, yeah. I'm looking, I mean, well, if I, you, I'll probably, I walk on the streets yeah. of Lagos same. at any time and I wouldn't no, look no, over no, my no. shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't walk, I can't walk in the street of Lagos at any time. I will. I will. I wouldn't have to look over my shoulder. In fact, I will even wait till I put. If you walk too close, I'll be the first to ginger you. People always worry a lot about me. Like, people around me, like, if you have to do this, if it's 
it's not if it's about COVID or if it's about safety. Like you don't you don't do this. Don't look at it and never. I'm not a fearful person hmm. at all. But I, I don't think it has to do with you being a fearful person. Okay. We're talking what? about the um, society right now, where mm. you find yourself. Mm. Like, like I said before, once it's like um, seven. Um, seven, I just don't want to be out, especially when I'm alone. Like, hearing the news, seeing all the things mm. that happen every time. One time I went for um, a function, it was like 9.30. I was coming home, I was just scared. I don't know, like, there was really nothing mm. happening, but I was just being scared. I'm like, okay, hope I don't run into yeah, anything. Yeah, I, I, I don't have like, that. I remember when I, when I first moved to South Africa, there is a place in Johannesburg where it's like the city, and they gave me this whole, like, picture about how it's really dangerous and mm. that people can just come and stab you. You know, South Africa has a bit of violence, mm. and that's where the hub is and everything. But then I heard that that's where the cheap stuff is, and I was a student and everything, so I begged everybody, please go with me. Let's go and just pack everything. We need to save money, da da da, da. Nobody answered me. So I just went by myself. At first of all, I didn't even know how to get there. I remember myself when I was strolling. To be honest with you, I was not even scared. And by the time I got there, I realized that the people that they're afraid of are Nigerians. So all I did was oh. like speak Yoruba or pigeon to the Igbos what or whatever. You, what you? And I mean I can they laughed, but they knew that <laughs> okay, you? um, you know. I'm their Other people than. or whatever, yeah. So I mean, I I'm I just, I'm just not. E e Karo, e e Karleo. <laughs> How do you do, people? Shewa. E e Shewa. Yeah. And now. <laughs> but but to be honest, right? Uh, depending on what area, I, I it don't mean because you're not a fearful person, you can't go around the street of Lagos. See, if, the thing, if there's like, not eminent danger, I'm not gonna think about it. Let mm. me tell you something. I'm not. I'm not so gonna say, oh, to I don't walk around at night. No, I will walk around at eleven. Just if I see somebody coming that looks scary. Okay, then yeah, I'll be getting scared. But on my own, just but chilling, wait, I'm not be no. scared. I, I'm, I'm not. saying like I just have to be careful in the sense that there's certain areas I will get to that I'm not gonna pull out my phone and be chatting at that point in time mm, or yeah, trying to yeah. see a message. I'm probably gonna talk in my chain. But I'm you probably still gonna go take, out. Yeah, of course yeah, I will, yeah, but yeah. there's certain places that okay. I wouldn't just do certain things that course, I'll be comfortable course, doing yeah. in normal places. Or maybe I, that's when I'll decide I want to use the ATM yeah. at one rowdy bus stop. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I probably wouldn't do that because yeah. that's just me. I mean, but I, I agree with you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, to be honest, I wouldn't really be out alone by myself. I think if I was by myself, it'd be a bit more different, mm. but I'm never really by but if myself. You're, like, okay. I'm, if maybe you're if I'm with people. someone, yeah, then I feel a lot more safe. Especially if there are men around and stuff. Exactly, yeah. yeah fair. But we, we do the drop off, so we're always by ourselves. I saw, this, I saw this meme about this guy who was saying, and I kind of felt bad, and I appreciate men who do that to me now, where they were like, when they drop their babe off, and then after the babe has gone home, then they take themselves and start running, going back mm -hmm. home. Really. You know, sometimes I, I, I feel like we over-masculinize <laughs> men. Yeah, that like, they, we don't really... Oh, you guys think well. we don't have fears. You know, sometimes <laughs> we just drop you like... 2 a.m. and you're wondering like, oh wow, this <laughs> is a man. You're not be asking you. you how's the, how's you know how we home? drove home. Well, you're you're scared. <laughs> you don't even know how we drove home. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's okay. We appreciate you. Anyway, okay. let's move on to the next story mm, yes, of the day. Please, All righty, yeah. Nigerian social media comedian Debo Ade by your alias Mr. Macaroni has posted his first tweet following the release of his police detention. The skit maker wrote that the Nigerian government is responsible for all forms of insecurity in Nigeria, whereas they are opposed to protecting the lives of citizens. He further added that he is only pleading for peace. And his words, and I quote, the Hausa man is my brother, so is the Igbo man and the Yoruba man. We are all one. The government and the government alone is responsible for insecurities in Nigeria, and it's their duty to protect all Nigerians. I plead for peace. We will all come back to um, matters later. And I, there's another video, but let's just talk about that before we see the update that he put on Instagram. What do you think about this post? Oh. Is this a tribal issue? No, I don't understand. It's not. I don't understand. No, it's not. I don't understand. It's I don't. I mean, it's great. Yes, we're all one. But how does this have to do with anything that okay, we are so talking about right now? So the government is responsible for insecurity Security. in the country. Yes, in the sense I agree. That That's nobody true. would send out policemen or even give. Who gave the order? To yeah, date? but what about the Igbo? I'm um, your Igbo friend. Is there something <coughs> going on right now that I don't see that has anything to do with tribes playing? Yeah, but that's that police brutality. Oh, with, no, I, no, not I because haven't. police brutalities. I think it's about the full on the man. There's a story that happened on that same Saturday where um, a right. man was oh, yeah, bunt yeah, yeah. of the guy just yeah. for looking because he looks, yeah, yeah that's true. do you understand so i think he's addressing Maybe it from he's, that yeah, angle right. just putting it together that look it's not just about that it's not like i'm the yeah. bone of contention yeah, 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 yeah. the yeah. only cause of insecurity is the government so we need to tackle the, the government and right. every other thing mm, will fair. be in place fair. you understand so i think it was just addressing that issue as well and then you see in, in the police force it's not like it's just the yoruba man that is mm, there it's not yeah. like it's just the Igbo. we have yeah, the we have Igbo. 
yeah. culture okay. and you're about to stay. So it's not, it's about the insecurity, it's about the states in which they don't it's work for the us. Government. They don't work for us, they work for the government. They're mm. supposed to be working for us because, excuse me, Brother. we're the taxpayers, mm. but they answer to the man on top. Mm. Whatever the man on top tells them to do, but that's what they do. we still pay as well. I mean... <laughs> But anyway, like, can we see um, the macaroni video yes, really please. quickly so that we can update this conversation? The one I he don't think anyone should be talking about maybe celebrities came out or they did not come out. Or, no. The, the situation that we are in in this country is, is deep as shit. You cannot blame anyone. People are scared. I'm, you think I'm not scared? People are scared for their lives. And we know that we are in a government that has zero value for human lives. Like, they don't care at all. They will kill anybody. They will dehumanize anybody just to make sure, that, like, what they want to do, just to make sure that they do it. So, it's not, this is not the time to be saying, oh, where are the celebrities? Oh, where are the rest? Oh, where are these? We don't need all of that. What we need is one love, one unity. We need to come together to speak against what is going on in our society. Picked up or taken to um, Ademinji, you know, where we were beaten, we were stripped naked, like, <laughs> and everyone was beaten. So when, when people, I'm, I'm, I asked them to already help me put out the names of the 39 um, guys that were with me, male and female alike. So when I see people calling my name, like I said, I didn't have the strength to go out. It wasn't even me. It was these 39 people that were out that, you know, gave the ginger for me to even say, ah, let me go and see what is happening. If you have seen um, this video, then you know that it's a bit longer, but we don't want to obviously take all of it because we have other stories to talk about. But um, for me, I think before I, I had to listen to this thing twice, like go back again, because when I first saw him, I'm like, bro, your face. Yeah. He looked like he was embodying trauma. Like you could see up. it. You could see that this guy has been through something. And then when you look closer, especially when he starts to like look away, you can see eye. like the blood clots in his eyes. So I'm like, what is even going on? Like, what did they do to you? I mean, I saw the video of them squashing all of them Inside in the car. That was so. really low. Like... That was, yeah, mm -hmm. that was very awful. But, you know, when I saw that, I was like, okay, they, you know, they're harassing them and it's kind of like an emotional <coughs> toy. But, you know, they, they actually physically hit him. him. And then in the video, you also now mentioned that, oh, they, they hit him and all of that. So, I mean, he went through a lot. Uh, what I want to point out really quickly is when people were saying, why are we always talking about macaroni? I don't think people understand how important it is to have somebody in there that everybody knows. Yeah. It, it's so important. And, I, and I'm glad that... He, he said this. Say. I think people still miss that. I'm still seeing conversations on Instagram saying, oh, we're always talking about macaroni. But it's, it's so important to have people that are accountable because the fingers are not equal. And there are levels to citizens. And we all know that. There's nothing yeah. that can ever change about that. You cannot be as important as Kim Kardashian in America. Exactly. Standard. You cannot be as important as Barack Obama, right? So there's, stand, there's le levels to citizenship. And it's important. And it's almost even like a saving grace that we have these people wanting to mix with us with this type of issues because then he holds the government accountable. Yeah. So like I like that he brought that up. I didn't even know that that was the intention and the reason why he was thinking about that. But I'm glad he was there and I'm glad that he was able to get the other people out as well. Out there. Yeah. Um it's a lot. A lot. I just don't want to say because seeing the video at first, um I really felt bad for him. Mm -hmm. And then I, th I think I saw a message or something on Instagram. Someone was like, um, why did you go there? Mm. Like, people were, a lot of people were saying things like, why did you go there? Um, you know, this is, Nigeria is like, um, it's, this is like uh, a lost battle. You can't be fighting a battle that at the end of the day, you know, nothing well, is going to happen. The first time yeah. people have died, mm. this is the second one, da, da, da. Like, a lot of people said a lot of things. But looking at it from another angle, I wanted to be among those people. Yeah. At some point, I thought that way. Like, mm. why did you go there? Like, we know it's going to really get, to get really dangerous. Okay, imagine if Macroni wasn't there. Mm. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Those people. That's why he kept saying that. They won't have, people could they, have died. They, might, they, might, they might just kill, kill them, them and mm. nothing will be done. And that's just it. The story will just end as the other one yeah. happened. So, I just don't know. Like, I really don't know but. It's sad. Yeah. I mean, I like sad. that you brought that conversation up about um, why did you go there? Why did you go there? I think people need to understand something. And I, and I pray that one of those people are watching the show right now. If you look at the history of everything, civilization and, and freedom, it all came from protesting. Yeah, people died. There's no 
progress that has been made without ever without protesting. protesting. Fe um, peaceful protest, violent <coughs> protest. Look at the history of history. From day one, it's always been like that. Yes, not everybody is built to, to protest. Go, yeah. Not every single, like when we, when we, when we were protesting for um, female so. rights, for like the first, first time feminism ever occurred in the... 80, in the 1800s, right, when they were like saying we want to vote and we want to do all those things. Yeah. Not every single woman came you out know, to vote. Yeah. Yes, every single woman is enjoying it right now. Not everyone was still getting their shower, but most people are enjoying that right now. But not everyone is voting. My issue with Nigerians and the people who don't have the the, the audacity mind. to vote them um, to, to go protest is that you are now bashing the ones who do. Like, do you not understand that if they win the fight or when we win the fight, you would enjoy this progress Benefit. as well. If the government says that they've made a law that um, you are not allowed to protest, that in itself is a it's a infringement on your democratic institutional um, human institutional rights, right? You're supposed to protest that already because if you start to allow that, what you're saying is that we don't have a right to speak up. And last mm -hmm. I checked, we do. And then we're also fighting for, for the issue that we've always been fighting for, bad governance. How are you not going to enjoy the benefits of that? It's one thing to say, dude, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I'm too scared. But thank you for, for going out. It, Just be careful, out. guys. But it's sort of like, I saw Katrina's tweet of like saying, oh, we're advising people badly. They yeah. know what is up. If you follow um, Files um, the Bad Fals. Guys tweet, he said something. He was like, oh, that people are talking about danger. But there's a lot of people that are living, that, that the lives that they're living is not worse than that. So they don't have anything to lose. Yeah. Like, can you not encourage those kind of people to fight? I don't know. It's very pissing. All right. So for me, the two sides to the story, you know, I've always been on on a very, very, how do I put it now? I try to try softly on the subject matter because there are different ways to look at it. Now, first of all, was it barbaric the way they were handled? The mm. way the protesters were? Yes, it was. Were, the, were they exercising their right to protest? Yes, they were. Do you understand? Um, were they fighting for a just cause? Yes, they were. Am I in support of them? Yes, I am. Um, do I think... Um, they shouldn't open the lucky toge. Yes, I do. They should. I, I think they shouldn't. Do you understand? I think it's too soon. I think we need to get justice. Like do I think we could have gone about it a different way? Yes, I do. How? Because we can't keep going with the same. We can't keep putting the same thing in and expect a different result. Okay. Now I heard somebody say you need to understand the country you're in. I'm not justifying the insecurity in the country. I'm not justifying how low the government can go. I'm not justifying. But at the same time, safety matters. There's a saying, you leave to fight another day, right? You I'm not, not, I'm not saying, cow, mm -hmm. listen, okay. that's what I'm saying. Look, I'm in support of you. I, you see, everything you're thinking is what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm not against any of your thoughts. But I just feel like we can do it in a different that was what happened oh. the last time we went i'm not the one to prefer the solution then i don't yes, think you have a right to say that comment then if it, I, i'm sorry but okay he, i actually understand where he's coming from no but you see i've you heard, keep doing heard, the same thing I've and heard expect it, I've, the I've, same I've, result first, first, first of all we keep saying it's faceless every we time saying, we, every time we protest best believe that we get results different results did yeah. you see how many people came out to target they are listening. We did not go and announce this thing on TV. No. They are listening to us on Twitter. That in itself already it's is results. a change. Oh, okay? really? Yes, it is a, a change. A change to make and, sure and they and give them information it? and they came out and riot Wait, listen, years listen, listen, ready listen, this time. Listen, That's listen, not a change. Said, because you see, the thing about the situation you, the thing is about lost. you, my issue with why I'm coming hard on you is that you claim to agree to everything that we're saying. But your mindset is very different. So I don't you know how to so like you're mindset. lying about you're one. If not, you're, if you're you not say, my if you mindset, if you say on this table that we should change listen. our approach, you cannot say that statement if you don't have a change of approach. Okay, now, what okay, I would so suggest, the problem is what having saying, the change approach, right? Yeah. The problem is bringing the solution. Yeah, you should, should bring the solution. Way. Yes. We can't keep okay. saying we want a faceless. How can you tell somebody? Oh, hold on, why are you getting a GTA? I told you, I understand where you're coming from. I also understand I'm where I'm he's saying, coming I'm from. I'm saying that, oh, I'm in a relationship, right? I'm in, a, I'm in an abusive relationship. My husband is, is, is whatever. He's beating me. And I want to, I'm going to go keep going to your house. 
and every time the family is upset or whatever, and that's the only way I know to save myself is going to your house. And then somebody else comes and says, why are you going to her house? It's causing troubles. But they're not saying what else I should do. What do you know what I'm trying baby? to say? Okay. Hold up. Now this Hold is up. Your... Hold up. Wait, wait. Let me even explain to okay. her what I mean by you can go about it in a different way. Look, your committees. Have you ever set to get? Have you ever set up as youth, Nigerian youth, to set up a committee? We, it's easy for us we to do. We did the... actually, but okay. Yeah, we did actually, yeah. right? Now, but we say we, we, we want it to be faceless, right? Mm -hmm. Have we tried to have a meeting with these people, you know? Actually call these leaders and say, let's have a chat. Now, if we try all this other... Th hold so up, soon? now. Are we forgotten so soon? Did we pull through with it? Is it not still the same? We want it to be faceless. We don't want them to hijack it. The yeah, fears of the us problem. not trusting each other in okay, the first place. Look, the likes of the here. Barack Obama that you keep mentioning, or the likes of the Malcolm X, and the likes of the Martin Luther King that you want to keep mentioning. Who's mentioning I, them? Wait, now, are those not the people that protested? I know those the people giving, that have done um, peaceful protests and they went through with it. Malcolm X they, oh, hold up! Oh, oh wow! I'm just just okay, just like that. Let him calm down. Yeah, speak. Look, you can be agitated all you want. This your gra gra is not what you call the solution. It's not going to bring about the change Neither you're looking for. Now, you have to be okay. diplomatic in a country that you know they're not even listening. You think they're listening to you and they're coming out with you think they're going to listen to your diplomacy? I'm sorry. Yes, they will. Oh, wow. <laughs> they, they might they not. They might hey. not, but at least it will be better organized. Uh, now, there's a the sense that... Look, even the charges they brought against everyone that was uh, arrested at the protest, now, um, it's different from the treatment or the way they were arrested, right? The charges they brought against them are valid charges. How can you fight the law? Think about it. It's the well, law. That's, it's that's there to be governed. It was a law that black people <sighs> when, were, uh, were categorized as properties. I'm, I, I don't understand your... your, your what what law are you here. talking about? It was a law. What law? Globally. What that black law? People, what law? We're talking America, about different I'm things. I'm giving you an example, Ife. That black people were categorized as plants, as as, as properties. Mm -hmm. in, in Australia, it was a law. I'm telling you, know, you I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to explain to you. The fact that you're disturbing the peace is not a valid law. How do you even compare that to something? black people being properties? Or the fact that you're not um, adhering to COVID-19 protocols is or not... Wait, wait! Or social distancing. You do you know that it is attempted murder if I spit in somebody's face right that's now? That's true. I, do you understand wait, what let me, I'm let saying? Me, let me so why are you talking like if we're not educated? We are educated here is that you mentioned that why we, we cannot go against the law the law I is not the gospel truth it is in history that you fight no, he's, against he's just, the law he's just, if I the think law is against your human constitutional rights i think what if i saying is if they had approached this matter in a different way not the same this is why way young people never move not forward. the same way that we've been approaching really it would have given a better it would have given a different results i think that's what he's trying to say um, um emerald we have done peaceful protests we did not start um going on the street for answers five five years ago ten years ago but we've been talking about answers for almost 11 years mm -hmm. do you remember that yeah. so we've done diplomacy for 11 years it was only until it got bad. Oh, Listen, it was only until it got bad recently that they started to do physical protest. Have you heard of physical protest? If I name three years five ago, young people, they had what, name wait, wait, five young finish, people you finish, can trust, and you can finish, name them that finish. they're going to add a, 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 a committee where we want to go and have a conversation with the president. Name five people. Do you know that that has already, that has already that happened. You know that you can vouch One of the for. reasons Who why are they? you know the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised because on this table we handled enters like thoroughly we had different people guests come on this show that had come to do this approach there's even people that we did not get on the show Corey Day went and brought his had his own organization of people Aww. that went and spoke to the um, igp and the people in charge of or even on the top of the food chain with the police department they we don't went yeah they don't went as well how are you going to work when this that's, one goes that's a problem no goes. That's Corey Corey is, any, is there any is there any is there any who there are all those people why are we not together one one, uh, one movement in this world one movement where there's just one particular voice nobody's saying that's what you are saying it's impossible that's what you are saying by Corey Day and this song these are different Nobody voices. These are different about... voices. What are you saying, Ife? What are you saying? Why is there no unity amongst the youths themselves? Oh, so that's what you're pointing out. <laughs> like, what are you saying? What is are that you talking what you're about? Out? Why is there no unity? Ife, there is in unity terms of organization for a protest. Mm. For a protest. Now imagine if a Mr. Macaroni was Did Fowles and 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 Rontown lead the first they movement did. that was? What, what do you want, Ife? 
You want to sit there and criticize people who are making an you effort know, to make change. You know this what? is not a robotic you know system. We're not trying, talking about robots you know, that we can just arrange numbers. Flaw, it is not going to be flawless. No, Nothing is flawless. But the worst thing you can do is sit there and discourage the people who are trying to do that. I'm as pained as you are, right? You are not. You're you just there talking that, about how your you you everybody's effort is so bad. Okay. I'm not patriotic. If like, like, I'm not. Like, 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 like. I'm not. Please, I'm not patriotic. Don't put words in my mouth. I'm not. Say, say. Wow. I'm not, yes. so I'm not. I'm you just, I'm really. You're I just, too no, agitated. no, if I, my this issue. This is not the way to go about it. Stop doing that. Stop making it, it look like as if, no, my agitation is the problem here. But you I'm know. I'm going against what you're talking about. Simple. But you know, this is just our opinion. Yes, okay. it is just an opinion. So right. I, I, I don't know. Okay, let's move Thank on. You. I, let's